Welcome to Beer Untapped with Perry Miller, the podcast. I'm joined by Seth. Hey, welcome, guys. Thanks for finding us on, uh, on, the, on the internet. Now, these shows originally aired on Brookings Radio, but now they're all here for your enjoyment. I hope you like it. There you go. Sit back, enjoy the show, relax. Uh, let us know if you want to see anything on future shows. As we said, the, this comes out live in the Brookings area, but enjoy this archive episode. Beer Untapped with Perry Miller. Welcome to Beer Untapped with Perry Miller. This week, a new brewery coming to Aberdeen, summer fun, and more. The largest South Dakota city without a brewery is Aberdeen, but that is going to change. Brody Mueller is helping to start Dakota Territory Brewing Company. We caught up with him a few weeks ago, and he spent a brew day with Seth Cook at Wooden Legs in Brookings. So we're going to be right downtown in a historic old building. It used to be a a clothing store, so lots of brick and granite, and we're really, really excited about it. You know, it's pretty historic, and it's, I mean, it's a big trend right now to take everything back to the, you know, the bedrock, so that's thats what we're doing. When the building was vacant, people would come in and say, there's, you know, there's huge brick walls, and say, oh, that's just so cool, this needs to be a bar, and we, we couldn't dispute that, so we said, yeah, well, we might as well start a brewery while we're at it. Brody got into the business the same way that many brewers have. He started by making beer at home. I've been a home brewer for about 10 years, and it's kind of one of those things where you, um, you decide... You, you get to a certain point in home brewing, and you decide, well, I, I might as well take this to the next level. So I've worked in, I was a beer distributor, I've worked at a beer bar, um, and so I guess I'll complete the complete the rounds and uh, become a brewer. What kind of beers are they planning to make? Personally, I really like English styles, and, you know, I'm here brewing with Seth today, and yep. Yep, and, and he really likes that as well. So sort of that uh, understated and more delicate stuff. We'll do some, you know, easy-drinking porch pounders. Um, I have an ESB recipe I really like, a uh, pale. So we'll, uh, but we'll we'll have room to play as well. We'd also like to use a lot of um, plants and herbs and things like that in our brew as well. So we're we're excited about doing doing some of that stuff. Rhubarb beers and dandelion colches and uh, just get a little nuts and see what happens. He believes Aberdeen is ready for a brewery. You know, it's the craft beer scene has been growing there over the past uh, past couple of years, and you know, bars like Slackers have really done a good job at, um, at driving that home. And so the the community is ready. The support has been great. People are really excited, and we're we're excited to bring it to Aberdeen. Brody is impressed with how helpful other South Dakota brewers have been. We've been overwhelmed by the support that the other brewers have given us and say, yeah, come on down. You want to brew? Let's let's go. I mean, I'm sure Seth just wants somebody else to shovel grain, but uh, I'll take it. Seth says it's great to help out new brewers. Brody is... Well, I don't know, maybe five or six that have been up here to brew with us. Or by, I, I tell them they can brew. That just means they're going to come shovel and sweep. But they, uh, that, that is, you know what, there's the secret. That's brewing. Uh, we had a couple from uh, Montana come out. We had the wood grain guys come up from Sioux Falls and Brody's been out. And we've had just a handful of others. You know, when we started five years ago or, you know, started the idea five years ago and then opened our door three years ago, there wasn't any place for me to go <laughs> and hang out with people. I guess I did, I did it out to Crow Peak. Nowhere close. Nowhere close. Um, so it's been fun to be able to collaborate. And, you know, every brewer that comes through here has a different concept of what they're doing, and it's fun to hear that. Uh, they've got their own styles, their own recipes, their own flavor profiles. Um, it's fun to teach them a little bit of maybe what not to do. No firm opening date is yet for Dakota Territory, as they hope to have their pilot system up and running soon with their main brewing system in place by the end of the year. More Beer Untapped coming right up. You're just a fool. Welcome back to Beer Untapped with Perry Miller. We're now in the heart of summer, and it's a busy time at Wooden Legs in Brookings. It's a good time to be to be part of the brewery here. Um, I've had the chance to get back into the brewery and really start maybe reigniting some of my creative spirit. So we've got all kinds of stuff coming up for this summer. That I, and, and, and now the stuff we're brewing now, I guess, to be fair, is even starting to venture into fall beers. I know, heaven forbid, we're even talking about that. But um, as brewers go, you have to kind of keep a at least a, a calendar in front of you because it, it's not instantaneous. And when it comes to summer fun, Seth excited for the second year of downtown at Sundown, Brookings Summer Music Festival, held Thursday evening starting next week. It was an awesome experience last year, not just for for us, you know, for Wooden Lakes Brewing Company, getting to meet and greet new fans, but I think the whole community uh, piled together and really enjoyed the outdoor music festival scene uh you, you know it was in front it was on fifth street here 
and and we were happy to participate. He's grateful the Downtown Brookings Incorporated, the Convention and Visitors Bureau and others were willing to take it on and make it a success. It took a lot of work and a lot of hours from a lot of organizations to pull it off last year. And the fact that so many people have been excited about it this year and looking forward to it again, it's, it's just fantastic that it just means that people... Enjoyed it. Enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed putting it on. So Is it right out here again? It's right out here again. Uh, it was, uh, this, this street was selected again. Downtown at Sundown debuts Thursday, July 14th, 5 p.m. on 5th Street. Now, let's check in with Drew Eklund at Brookings Liquor Store. Some great new beers to try on tap. We'll kick it off with a new one from Hydra Brewing of Sioux Falls. It's Hades Hefeweizen, 18 cents an ounce. It's light and easy drinking with low carbonation and almost no hop presence. Um, it's sweeter uh, with flavors of banana and clove with a dry, uh, slightly tart finish. Um, I think it's a really good take on the style. And the next one on tap we have is from Alaskan Brewery. Uh, it's their Ginger Shandy, 16 cents an ounce. Another great summer beer. Lots of new packaged beer to check out at the liquor store, including some great summer beers, but also something rather special from Surly Brewing of Minneapolis. Their 10 Ale. Twelve ninety nine for the bomber. Um, this is a limited release bottle. Uh, it's an old ale style, um, celebrating their tenth anniversary. The art on the bottle is amazing, and the wax dip tip uh, glows in the dark. So how awesome is that? Old ales tend to be uh, sweeter, malt forward, and quite boozy. But um, hurry because this one will sell out quickly. Just a few bottles left, so hurry in if you want one. That's it for this week's show. Until next time, drink local and drink responsibly. Thank you for listening to this archived edition of Beer Untapped with Perry Miller. Feel free to listen to other episodes. And if there's anything you'd like us to talk about on a future show, please let us know. Thanks again.